everybody welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new this is let's play the sims 4 mansion life and we are back in our lovely little villa real household and as you can see it's like four quarter after four in the morning and max is just doing some cleaning up while erica makes her family some breakfast yeah. the kids are doing their homework However, Wade is not. He's just on the computer. Wade, do your homework, please. Do your homework, uh -huh. please. And we do have to take our little pupperoo here to the vet. Because he is not looking so good or feeling so good. So... Max has the day off today, so we're going to get Max to take him to the vet. And ah. Erica is here. The pets are hungry, but they got food in their dish, so I don't see... Oh, no, Max? How about you call Pumpkin to eat? And then you call... White thing to eat before you take it to the vet. We're gonna replace this. And how about we clean this up and mop this? And clean this up as well because Erica has finished. Um, Erica, honey, why are you sitting on the floor? And Kylie is gonna grab. A serving of French toast when she's done. And Michael is as well. And Wade is going to grab a serving. So some of you have been asking about Michael's kids. And if Michael is going to be seeing his kids. And... The thing is, I want Michael to see his kids, but Riley has, um, in his storyline, Riley has said, no, you, I don't want you to be part of my kids' life, our kids' lives. So, he's not hmm. really thrilled about that, and he still has quite a while before he ages up to a young adult, and he's not exactly thrilled about... Max, what are you doing? Oh. Okay. Ah. So. I'm thinking that maybe... Maybe Kylie can get involved here. Like, Kylie over can go over Falcon. and just be like, listen, Riley, you've got to let my brother see his kids. Because Michael and Kylie are pretty close. Like, they were really close growing up as kids, and they're still really close. So I feel like Kylie would look after her brother, her big brother. And Erica... Erica, it is like six o'clock in the morning. You are not drinking. <laughs> Why do the Sims do that? It's so weird. Okay, so we're going to get you to go to the toilet because you need to go to the toilet, Erica. And Max, you need to go to the toilet as well. So we'll get you to go to the toilet. Um, after you eat something. Go to eat and then go to the toilet. And Erica, where are you? Okay, Erica's going to the toilet. And Wade, how come everybody has to go to the bathroom? Okay. So, I think we need another bathroom in this house. <laughs> like, what the? Whose project is this? Oh, this is Michael's project. 
Why is it destroyed? We're going to get him to start that over. Go to the toilet now, Michael. Okay. I mean, Wade. That's Wade. I get the kids mixed up all the time. Max, you need to go to the toilet after you're done there. So I'm gonna get Michael to Michael. Work on your project, please. Kylie, everybody has to go to the toilet. Well, we'll get Um, yes, I know why, Fang, you're not doing so good. Max is going to take you to the vet after he's done. she work? Okay, she works in three hours, so she can nap. She can nap for a little while. It's, it's okay. Max is, Max is going for a nap as well. He's tired. Everybody's tired and they need to pee. Uh, cross, cross. That's insane. Uh, I'm a fraud. Oh. Max, okay. Uh, Wade, go to school. They're all going to school. In their horrible moods, but that's okay. All right. So, kids are off to school. So, Max, we are actually going to get you up because our paparoo needs to go. To the vet. So we're gonna take him to the vet. Oh, they're sick. Uh. Oh, Max is sick. Oh, don't worry, Max. We'll get you. We'll get you home and rested as soon as you take the puppy to the vet here. Cause White Fang obviously he needs to go to the vet. He's not yeah, feeling he so good. And for Michael, we're gonna get we're gonna get them to make some friends, especially Kylie, because it's her first day of high school. Oh, uh, Tommy Funo. Huh. <laughs> yes, Max. I know you're sick, but we gotta take Paparoo to the vet because Paparoo is sick as well. And then we'll come home and take care of Max. And Erica is. So Erica's just gonna do her thing before she goes to work. So Max is gonna head to the vet with our lovely to our lovely sister-in-law Scarlet. So we're at the vet. The Scarlet's here too. She's here with Mr. S with Allie. Oh, Allie, right. I forgot that uh, Scarlet has another cat named Allie. Oh. 
<laughs> now, Schmazzle Tombra. No, we're not going to give him a rude introduction, Matt. How about you give your sister in law here? Oh, I guess you can't communicate with Scarlet. That's strange. But okay. Max is just going to go over here and wait. Wait for White Fang, who's still out here. But we're going to wait for White Fang to... Um, Erin's here. She brought cinnamon, it looks like. Erica's off to work. So Erin brought cinnamon. Max is here. Gonna look after White Fang. The poor Pupperoo. Well, All right. Bonza, Uvene, Lamita, Kanaya. So, Skabor. <laughs> White thing, oh, oh the poor Baba. He looks so sneaky. Aha! Alright, so we're gonna get our pet examined, give him the treatment, and then send him home. All right, expensive treatment, of course. We want the best hair for her, for a pupperoo. All right. Wait, is Matt Chelsea at school? Okay. All right, pupperoo is feeling better, so we're gonna go home. Hopefully, no more pets are sick, <laughs> and we'll just go home. And then after school, we're going to get Kylie to pay a visit to Riley. Kylie and Riley. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get Kylie to pay a visit to Riley and after school. And Kylie is going to... Kylie is going to basically just be like, hey, you should let my brother see his kids the deal. And we're going to take Michael with us as well. Because I think that would be cool. So Max is back home. It says a maid has cleaned the house, but I don't believe it because the maid never cleans. But for some reason, there's music playing. I turn that off because we don't want to listen to music right now. And our little pupperoo is here, pumpkin. I'm actually gonna check really quickly to see. We we do have to give pumpkin a bath though. Give him a bath. And then we I gotta check pumpkin to also see. Um he has eleven days. Pumpkin has eleven days. Alright, so pumpkin has to have a bath. White fang I think is good. At least for now. But Pumpkin does need a bath. So we'll give Pumpkin a bath. And then 
Max is going to go upstairs and have a bit of a nap because he is not feeling so well. Oh, oh, empty! All right, so Max is going to take Pumpkin in for a bath. Oh, White Fang, you need a bath. I think White Fang needs a bath, too. Oh, give White Fang a bath after. Okay. White Fang, no barking. And then... We're gonna give White Fang a bath as well. Give him a bath. So Pumpkin's having a bath. Ate a friend. Michael's friend hasn't studied for the big exam today. Well, his Michael's friend wants him to give him the answers, and we are definitely not gonna help this time because Michael helped the last time and that got him in trouble. So Michael stands his ground. He can't risk his own grade, after all. The friend doesn't like that, swearing never to help Michael ever again. Well, it is what it is, right? Manage the intern. Erica has been assigned an intern to train and manage. How should she handle her intern? Assigned a coffee duty. Oh, hum, hum. So With the intern on coffee duty, Erica is able to focus on her most challenging tasks, Full of caffeine and well-rested feet. It's a banner day as a manager. Awesome. So Erica has her coffee. Uh -huh. She's good. And Pumpkin's having his bath. And then we're going to bath White Fang. What's Precious doing? Wade has met Brittany while at school. Cool. <laughs> Pumpkin shaking himself off dry. Alright, so. Alright. Pumpkin is all bathed and good and good to go. Frippa, shout. No. White oh, thing's gonna get bathed and ready to go. Mm. Mm -hmm. And then, well, we can't bath Precious because oh. for some reason we can't give cats baths. And Michael has met Bailey while at school. Bumble. Look at White Fang. White Fang looks happy that he's getting a bath. <laughs> Which is good. And now Pumpkin and Precious are gonna go play outside. And then after after Max, after you're done there, we should get you to head to bed. Have a bit of a sleep. <laughs> and Pumpkin is just hanging around the house, like always. So Max, we're going to speed this up a bit because Max has to go have a nap. Michael has met Kango while at school. Cool. Well, I'm glad that they're making new, that the kids are making friends. that will be easier to develop their storylines when they have a group of friends.
Pumpkin is pumpkin's lonely, but that's okay. All the pets I find that in the game, like pets follow your sim everywhere. Should Wade invite over classmate Natalie? You mean your cousin Natalie? Yeah, of course. Of course Wade can invite over Natalie. She's his cousin. Alright, so everyone is... Wow, okay. How about this? Just for now, I'm just going to make them happy. Because there's no reason why all of these sims need to be tired. So, I am just going to cheat a little bit and make them happy. Because... Otherwise, like, poor Kylie here, she's like, I'm in desperate need of coffee. So, we're gonna make her happy, so that way... That way she's not on the verge of passing out. And... How about we'll do the same thing for Max. We'll make Max happy. That way he doesn't have to... There, Max is happy. And stuck bathing the dogs, so we're gonna... There we go. White Fang's all clean. Now, Max, we're gonna get you to sit and relax and... Watch some TV. Well, your wife worked all day, so how about we get you to cook something on the barbecue for dinner? So, get you to grill some hamburgers for dinner. Well, these guys. Alright. So, Kylie. No, you're not taking a nap, Michael. You don't need one. <laughs> So Kylie and Michael are actually going to have a bit of a chat. Like, Kylie's going to be like, so, have you met, like, have you been spending any time with your kids? And, of course, Michael's going to be like, well, no, because Riley won't let me. And she's going to be like, well, that's unacceptable. We're going to get your kids. So, brightness day. She'd be like, cheer up, Michael. We're going to visit your daughters today, whether she likes it or not. As soon as Michael stops walking. Alright, so Kylie's going to come over, brighten Michael's day make her big brother feel better. Aha! Okay. So we'll try this again. Give him a hug. And then brighten his day. Make him feel better. Oh, yes. oh. <laughs> and that Erica is. earned a raise. Awesome. <laughs> yes. Erica's doing amazing at her job. And she's tired, but we're gonna make her we're gonna cheat and make her happy. Just because like the household was a mess when I came into it, so it's just easier. There we go. So, Erica, you're home. You don't have to worry about dinner because Max is taking care of dinner. And Kylie and Michael Ooh, are having to like drama. Like, Ooh, you got a boyfriend? And Kylie's like, come on, be serious. We gotta go get your kids. So, 
now that that has been done and said, we are going to not ask on a date, but we are going to travel. And we're going to take our sister Kylie with us. And we are going to head. Fuba. Zabo. We are going to head out to get to see Riley and see Michael's kid. Because it's only fair that Michael gets to see his kids, and Kylie doesn't think that's right. So she's like, go on, let's let's go visit your kids. I'll come with you. What kind of household we got the Riley into? All right, so we are here at Riley's house, oh. Oh. and oh, I see uh. one babaroo, uh. which is cool. We are uh. we are going to knock on the door. Wade's gonna knock on the door. Everyone's <laughs> like, come on in. And Kylie's coming in. Ah. And here we are. We have little Brianna here who is just so Riley doesn't even care. Like she's not paying any attention to her kids. They're just wandering around the house. They don't even have their they don't even have their own bedroom. They don't even have toddler beds. They still have their bassinets from when they were babies. So I don't even think that Riley is fit to be even looking after these little babas. Like, here's Brittany. Like, and it looks like here that Penelope, who is Riley's mother, she is taking care of everybody. Like, she's literally being a mother. Like, these girls are probably going to grow up thinking that... Thinking that Penelope is their mother and that Riley is just their older sister. But Michael's here. He's going to... He's going to play with Brianna for a little bit. And Kylie's What's here. Up, Ha, Ooh, Kylie's just Bob watching. <laughs> Kylie's probably gonna come over and just introduce herself to her little niece. I really love this interaction. I'm really glad that Michael has decided to come visit. Even though, like, Riley is totally ignoring them, too. Like, she's literally <laughs> like, <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> so, Kylie. Now, Kylie's gonna play with Brittany. Happy Lima? Kibaya! Riley is ignoring her kids. And ignoring the fact that I can't Like, I don't think Kylie would accept that. Kylie would not accept that at all. So we are going to introduce ourselves to our Brianna and then. Riley, Kylie is going to give Riley a piece of her mind. Michael 
Michael is here. Okay, Michael, you got your kids here. Why don't you play? Oh, Michael's pack is too sore to do this. Okay. Getting so big from roughhousing. Michael is probably going to try to talk to Riley. Like, he's probably just going to be like... Just maybe say, hey. Compliment her outfit. While Kylie huh? is coming over here to give her a piece. Is Kylie going to come over and give her a piece of her mind? <laughs> dag, After dag. She says a little hello to her other little niece, Brianna. Yes. yes. Now. <laughs> Kylie. How about over <laughs> and you argue about <laughs> We'll say we're arguing about school just because that's the interaction in the game. But we're actually gonna get Kylie and Riley to argue about parenting. We're gonna argue about Oh, Kylie. Oh. Like yelling. Like, you know, you need to let Michael see it. It's not right. I know you guys are young and you guys are playing. And I was like, my girl's business. You don't know anything. You're too young to understand. Kylie's like, I know that's not right. I'm not letting my brother see it. And then because Kylie is an immature teenager, because Kylie is an immature teenager, she would probably, she'd probably insult her and do like mean teenage things, like give her a mean gift. She'd probably yell at her. Make fun of her clothes, make fun of her face, throw shade. We go. Snibara Watanini. Ha, Floopy. Crazy. Oh, no, no. Glory. You can't chat with Penelope and Michael. You have to. Clara the Daddy! Right. Oh, yeah. Aww. And Brittany is crying, so we're gonna get Michael to stop chatting with the fighting girls and come over here and comfort your little girl. I don't think it's right that they're fighting in front of the children, but Kylie really wants to give Riley a piece of her mind. Delish! Coca Jeru! Tivo Manza Zimonis Arrow. Aliba Zimonis Arrow. Like, look at them. Look at Michael and Brittany. They're all they're so adorable. They're Good too low. Doll bay. She's like, you know, you pay no attention to Aunt Kylie. She's just, she's just a little silly. She's just playing. Argument loser. No, 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 no. Kylie, you cannot be the argument loser. Come on, let's do this. Insult. Mock her outfit. Even though Riley actually does have good sense of style. 
And Kylie kind of likes it, but she's trying to make Riley a little shove. Imply mother is a not llama, and then and then Penelope could be like, "Hey, I am right here." <laughs> That'd be funny. Sorry, Like, she would be literally, uh, like, the one out of Erica's kids. Like, she's sweet, but she's also sassy. Michael is literally like, I'm just gonna watch TV. I'm not gonna pay attention that my sister and my ex-girlfriend are fighting over Fighting in front of my daughters. Someone made a mess. Brianna. <laughs> yeah, you won the fight, Kylie. Good girl. Kylie, you won the first time, you can win the fight again. We want Kylie to be the dominant one. So she's gonna fight. No, Kylie, you're not gonna clean up their house. It's not your mess to clean. You and the funny part about it is, is that Michael is literally, like, like, Michael's not even gonna say anything to Kylie, even though he was fighting, even though he's literally, like, he's literally the responsible team, and even though he doesn't really agree with Kylie fighting with, uh, Riley in front of his kids, he's still just kind of not gonna say anything to her about it, just because... He's like, I'm a little scared of Kylie. She's kind of aggressive. <laughs> there. Kicked her ass. Now we're gonna get her. Now we're, we're not gonna get them to fight anymore. We're actually gonna get Kylie to head home. <sighs> Uh, All right. <laughs> Kelly's gonna head home, and so is Michael because it's past curfew. No. Erica is not going to be happy. Erica's literally going to be like, "Where the heck were you two? Where the hell were you two at? Why, why haven't you called or responded to my texts?" I don't know. I just feel like that's what she would say. Like, they're probably, like, really scared, too. Like, they're probably like, Oh, boy, we're in trouble now. Kylie and Michael are probably like, Uh-oh, we're out past curfew. We're in trouble now. Take the deal.
so we're back home. It's quarter after nine, so it's literally past bedtime. And Kylie is home. She's, like, trying to put a fake note on the fridge. But Max is going to go probably just go upstairs because... Max is probably just going to go upstairs and go to bed. Wade, same thing. Because it is quite late. So Wade's going to go to bed and Max is going to go to bed. But Erica is awake, up, and watching TV. And she is not impressed with her children's behavior. And of course, Erica remembers. Like, Erica's still... Like, even though she's an adult... She's still at the younger half of adults, so she's still young enough to remember what it was like to be a teenager and stay out past curfew, because she used to stay out past curfew all night and sleep over at Max's house and get grounded and stuff with her mom. But, so she, like, she remembers, but... Maybe the fact that she remembers is the exact reason why. So, Kylie's home. She saw Kylie sneak in. So, she is going to discipline her for her recent behavior. And she's going to punish her. Give time out. Oh, she knows that Kylie's been fighting. So it'll be a double whammy for Kylie. So she can give her a timeout for breaking curfew. Actually, I think it's because Erica's parenting skill is too low. So we are actually going to up her parenting skill just a bit. Because I really... want her to ground, like, ground them. Because this is something that you would ground your children over. So, we got her parenting skill level 10 treat. And the only reason why I did that is because I want the option to ground. So we're going to discipline recent behavior. We're going to punish. So we are going to give her... We're going to ground her for fighting. That's going to be the interaction that we're going to use, but it's going to be grounded for fighting and for breaking curfew. And Michael, of course, Erica, she's like, oh, I'm not done with you. So she will, of course, ground Michael for breaking curfew. All right, so Mama Erica is here, and she she found out that Kylie was fighting because of um, Riley's mother called Erica and told told her about the fight. So she knows. Zaffle Yarba. Huh. She's literally like, you are grounded, young lady. Well, I didn't actually punish her, so we are gonna ground her. And we're going to ground Michael. So we have to ground them both. They're both grounded. I just... Alright. Then she's probably going to be like, You are grounded, young lady. It's probably going to take away Kylie's phone. Because... Phones are teenagers' life seat. Like, she's like, you are grounded. No phone. We. Where's the dib? Both of them grounded for no phone. She's like, no phone for a day. Now both of you get to bed. Is what she'll say. She is angry. She. Like, you know, she looks happy in the game. She influence. To sleep. 
We're telling them both. She's like, both of you, get your butts to bed. So she would probably say influence. No, not influence to play. But she is going to influence them to sleep. So influence both of them to sleep. And then Erica is going to head to bed herself. Or a bay. Uh-huh. Into a bay, Manzo. Quiva. So, Kylie's going to bed, and Michael is going to bed as well. They're both pretty, pretty tense. Because they don't want, because they, they can't use their phones. And Pumpkin's coming in to... I guess sleep in Michael's room. <laughs> and Kylie is sleeping downstairs. Well, she's sleeping in her bed. So it is Saturday. It is Saturday, so like Kylie can't use her phone. Michael can't use his phone either. Oh. And Max, why don't you go back to bed? <laughs> so I think maybe we'll get them to work on their homework and their skills and everything. Like, wait, wait, go back to bed. You don't need to be awake this early. And Erica and Michael are awake. Michael's really tense because his mom yelled at him last night. Erica, why don't you go back to bed? I mean, it's Saturday morning. You don't need to be awake. You all can go back to bed. There. White Fang is running away again? Oh, as if... Things couldn't get better, get bad enough, I mean. We do have to pay the bills, though, because the power was shut off. So I am going to... I am going to just quickly add in another, just, just so that we can afford to pay the bills. It's 3 o'clock in the morning, Kylie. You don't need to be awake. Why do they all insist on being awake at, like, so early in the morning? It's beyond me. And Kylie, you're using your phone? Bad. So, get her to go back to bed. Erica's going to come out here and pay the bills, because we need the bills to be paid. Because I don't think we can cook anything yet with the power off. So the bills are paid. So we're going to get her to serve some breakfast. So we are going to serve... She's going to make eggs and toast this time, just for a change. And Max, why don't you post the missing pet um, post? There. Post alert about missing pet. Wade is awake. Mm -hmm. So Wade, why don't you work on your homework and then you can play for the rest of the weekend. And Kylie and Michael are still sleeping. Uh, 
um, Erica. Why don't you Okay. Maybe we just need maybe we can make some paintings. So we'll get Erica to make some pancakes while everyone else sleeps. There. So Max sent out an alert. So hopefully, hopefully White Fang will return to us really soon. We are going to call Pumpkin to eat because apparently he doesn't know how to eat on his own. And Max has some dirty laundry and he's... Maybe we should get Max to work, do some laundry because they haven't done laundry in quite in a little while. So Max... Wade has finished his homework, so Wade is free to do whatever he wants for the rest of the weekend. Michael, you're going to work on your homework, too. Uh, as soon as I find out where you left it. I don't understand. I bought homework... And, okay, don't tell me we have to buy homework again. All right. For some reason, Michael keeps leaving his homework in places, and then, like, he was last seen doing his homework here, but he doesn't have it. There. Alright, so we're going to open this bookshelf. We have a homework book. Copy the Michael's inventory. Then Michael's going to do his homework. And then Kylie's going to do her homework too. Because they are both grounded, so they need to start taking responsibility <laughs> and doing their homework. And Max is going to wash the laundry. When I grow up, I want to be a ninja when I grow up. What do I need now to start getting ready? Get a ninja outfit, Erica will say. Ah, Wait, wait, that sounds like a good idea, Mom. I will do that. How about you not bother your siblings? And maybe we go on the computer here and play some video games. Get in play some incredible sports. Kylie's doing her homework. Like a good girl. I just love Kylie's room. It's cool. Alright, so Erica. Max! Your wife just made some pancakes. Eat them. Royal blush. Eat the pancakes. And then we will get Michael to grab a serving of pancakes. And we will get Kylie to grab a serving of pancakes. And we will get Wade to grab a serving of pancakes. And what kind of music are they listening to? Because 
at least oh no, it's just No, we're not celebrating that holiday. Talk like a pirate day. That's a silly holiday. I don't know what the heck Michael's listening to. Kylie's in her room. She's not feeling good. Erica, do you have to work today? Uh, nope, but you have to go to the toilet. Get you to go to the toilet. Shanae. And Max, do you have to work today? Nope, but you also have to go to the toilet. Then we'll get you to move this to the dryer. And then Michael oh. I think Michael you need some you need I'm some healing. Cool. Well these two are grounded, so they're not going anywhere. So I think today we're gonna take Wade to the park to meet some new friends. After we huh. Oh Okay, get him off the computer. Wade have any potential best friends? Like, he has his cousin, Natalie. And he has his aunt, Jenna. And Chelsea, Brittany, and Bailey. Bailey's also his cousin. I think we need to go to the park and meet some new friends, Wade. So maybe he'll, after he's done his breakfast and after he goes to the toilet... We'll get him to. We'll get him to um, go to the park with uh, his friend Brittany. And there are a lot of Britneys in this game, so we'll go to the park uh, with his friend Brittany, and maybe huh. he'll meet some new <laughs> new friends. Cause we need new friends. Boy. Kylie and Michael are being extremely quiet at the table because they they know they're grounded. Ugh. Ugh. The they're upset because of the missing pet, but they're also upset because they're grounded. Uh, and they both have to go to the toilet. Move you guys can go to the toilet, you know. Kylie, go to the toilet. Sorry, it's just funny. So. <laughs> Kylie's crying in her bed. Poor girl. Alright, so Wade is in a pretty good mood, so now he can go to the park. Oh, someone's calling Erica. Thank you. Thank you for congratulating me on my promotion. But we need Wade. We're taking Wade to the park, so Wade is going to travel with his friend. And we're going to go to the park. Brittany will see us there. So, we're gonna go to the park. The same park that his mom used to play at when he was a kid. When she was a kid, I mean.
so we're at the park. Maybe you should come over here and give your friend a nice brighten her day. It's kind of rainy out today to be at the park, but Who are my toes? No. it is what it is. Talk about school. Yalim Globikano. Zilbrin Tuck. Baro. Honga. Elise. Yanka Nuna. I think it's cute. Yarba. The wave is going to be a typical guy. <laughs> Ray's also going to be a typical guy and joke about boogers. So I think that would be funny. There. So Wade, how about you play pirate with your friend? And maybe some new kids will come and hang out with us. Who's this person? Emily Brown? All these people are hanging out at the park and nobody's a kid so we can't play. That's poopy. How many days does Wade even have? Oh, he, he'll be... He'll be a kid for a little while, which is... Alright. So Wade's gonna play on the, play, it's gonna play on the pirate playground. <laughs> and wow, oh, no. someone aged this person aged into an elder right there. That's interesting. But maybe we'll have some kids play with us. Uh, hey. How come you're not playing with us? Zip, no. Invite to play uh. pirate. He's like, hey. Uh -huh. Wade's like, hey, come play on the playground, Bridge. And Landon Murphy's coming over to play. And our cousin Nathan is here. And Andrew Bunch is going to come play. This guy's fighting with this chick. It's like, respect your elders, you teenager. Maybe introduce yourself to Landon oh, here. Oh, you did. Cool. Oh, Maybe we can invite them to the club. Oh, Wade's not even in a club. Well, we gotta join a club. This club is full. Well, who's in it? Oh. <laughs> I guess we can't be in it. Well, that's okay. Because we'll join we'll make a club for Wade. Because I think Wade needs some guy friends, too. So it's going to be, like, the guys. And he's going to invite... Oh, I guess we got to set the age restriction first. Because if we don't... Okay. So... He's going to be like, this is going to be our club, no girls allowed type of deal. So, of course, we're going to be, his two buds are going to be in it. And I'm thinking maybe we'll invite his cousins, too. Oh. And the 
glasses. Yeah. So, Wade made his club, the guys. And Wade is literally like, <laughs> Look at them. They're so cute. They're just like playing pirate. So, you buzz it out. How come Brittany's not playing? He's like, invite Brittany to play pirate. Uh, She's like, Brittany, you need, to, uh -huh. you need to play with us. Who is this guy? Oh, this is, um, Aaron's co- Oh, excuse me, I got the hiccups. This is Aaron's, Aaron's co-worker. <laughs> so these guys are just having a ball playing on the playground in the rain. In the rain. I apologize for my hiccups. So everyone's here having a good time. Wait's talking about grilled cheese sandwiches with Brittany. With Brittany. Maybe come introduce. Well, not introduce, but monkey around with your friend. Rona, Rona. <laughs> Nicholas is making a mess. Where did Wade go? Wade should get back on the playground. Someone else is here. Oh, Nat <gasps> excuse me. Oh, Natalie's here. Just good. Natalie's here. She's hanging out with us. Sorry, Close just the boy. Yo, puppy toe. Who's this guy? Oh, Kango. Okay. Interesting. Wolfgang is here. <gasps> Excuse me. The waves. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 
So Wade is playing on the pirate ship. Pretty sweet cleaning up the cleaning up the mess that's on the ground. Excuse me. Cleaning up the mess that's on the ground. Wade is literally like Excuse me. Wade is literally just like, I'm the king of the world! <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, though. Slow shut the boy. Slow puppy toe. Sorry, though. Slow shut the boy. Slow puppy toe. All right. All right. All right, so I think I'm gonna get Wade to go home. Get Wade to head home. Because his mom probably wants him home for dinner really soon, so. Excuse me. And he's gonna go home. Oh, Riley! Riley's here. That's hilarious. Wade is going through a phase. He will. Open the door. He he will pick up an instrument any chance he gets. Yell off and turn up all radios to eleven. No, wait. You gotta go home. So Wade is going through a I want to be loud phase, which is fine. So we'll let Wade do that, because Wade, I think, is going to be the rebellious child. Wade's literally going to be the rebellious child. I just feel it. So. So Wade is back home, excuse me, after his day at the park, and White Fang has returned back home as well, which is awesome, and he is filthy again, but we'll, we'll get, them to have, get him to have a ba bath later. We're going to get Wade to come here and get dried off before he, before he catches a cold. So... I'm actually going to end this part right here. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching watching it. And as always, make sure you be leave me a big thumbs up down below, as well as subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment down be below as well. And I will see you all again in the next video. Bye, guys. Let's go.
can't be. Hey, NASA.